looked like pretty good turnout. We didn't see Robbie out there. So kind of, we know it's voluntary, but it, he had expressed to you that he wasn't going to be here. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we, we have a, we have a couple guys that are dealing with some family things. Some you know positive. Well, one guy dealing with a really positive family thing. Um, some guys are you know, er, er, sorry. Yeah, but you know it's voluntary. So I mean, guys have different things going on. I mean, some guys are in and out. Some guys are, you know, we've got my daughter's graduating and to get take my daughter. So there's there's all kinds of different things. So um, you know, we're just trying to coach up the guys that are here and and meet with the guys that are here. It's been really nice to. I mean, if you think about it now, some of these guys, it's the first time they've ever really seen my face uh, or, or their coach's face. You know, they were able to sit in meetings and, you know, not have a mask on. So um, it's been really positive. But, yeah, gr great turnout. Uh, one guy was sick today, so he'll be back tomorrow. So I think it's you know, pretty, pretty good. A lot of red jerseys out there today. Are those injured guys? Do some seem participating, some not? Do... Yeah, a lot of, uh, you know, postseason, post you know, surgeries. So we're just being careful with those guys. Some of those guys, their surgery goes all the way back to, college you know so you know you get them in the season last year we didn't have a chance to do anything until they actually showed up in July so after the season just cleaned up some things from college and uh, you know a couple guys you know hamstring here uh, whatever there but um, I think all in all our health will be pretty good once training camp starts. Matt what do you want to see from Sam as, as you go through here mini camps and OTAs and on in training camp what do you want to see? He's got to get better I mean he's got to be he's like any other player he's got to improve daily and you know, that, that's all I really ask of our guys is don't worry about the results. Worry about the, you know, the, the trajectory that you're on. Are you improving daily? Um, and that's, you know, for a quarterback, for any quarterback, that's mechanically in their drops and the way that they're doing things, but also with the way they, you know, process things, progress through things. Um, so Sam, you know, Sam's, Sam's you know, on, on day two right now. You know, he's, he's just so young and what we're asking him to do, but he's, he's got a great work ethic. He wants to be good. So, um, you know, and I think the other two quarterbacks are doing a nice job too. So it's nice when you have a bunch of guys kind of executing at a high level around you. But uh, Sam's got a lot of work to do, and I'm confident he'll do it. How much of it is blank canvas with Sam, and how much of it does he kind of come in ahead of the game? I don't think he comes in ahead of the game. Um, you know, and I don't think that's true for any player. I mean, any you might have experience, but you don't have experience in what we do. You know, in our system. So. There's a, like you take a guy like A.J. Boye, like I'm so impressed with him, like he's played a long time, but he comes in with a humility to want to learn our system and how we call things. And so, you know, it's, you know, you, every, every, every bit of experience that Sam has, um, he, he can draw from it. But I think he's doing a great job of just starting over with us and saying, hey, you know, what's the cadence? You know, how do you want me to drop? How do you want me to do these things? And um, that, uh, that, that's good. That, that, that allows us to, um, you know, develop him really from the ground up. I know it's early, but anything jump off the page with Sam or anything you didn't expect that you got to see? No, I mean, he's a, got a guy, he's a great guy with great arm talent, you know, and he's a guy um, that's uh, very likable and he's a guy that works really hard. You know, he wants to be good. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't want to uh, not have a good rep. So um, I think everything's, you know, kind of everything we'd heard about him is, is what we're seeing. You guys like a lot of, you guys like a lot of versatility, obviously, in your position players. How much of seeing them on the field is finding out where they fit into the system? Yeah, I mean, and tailoring the system around them. You know, I mean, it's it really it really shows how hard last year was. I mean, um, you know, we're out there with guys. We're able to really again, we're able to teach them from the ground up. Like, hey, here's how you run this route. But you find a guy, you know, like a guy like Ian Thomas, a guy like Dan Arnold, a guy like Christian, and you find out what they do really well, and you can kind of build off of that. So. Um, the, these are invaluable, invaluable reps out here. Um, and not just the team reps, you know, just the individual reps, you know, the, the, the coaches being in meetings with them. Um, you know, I, I can't say how much further ahead we are than we were last year. You can always see turnover on the roster as you go into camp and even through that, but do you feel confident that this will be the three quarterbacks you'll go into camp with and, and come out of camp with right now? I mean, as I stand here right now, you know, um, I, I have a lot of confidence in all three, you know, I, I mean, um, uh, uh, PJ and Will have not played a ton yet, you know, um, but they've got all the talent, and I, can, I think you can see their confidence like soaring, you know, like them in year two understanding what to do. So um, I would expect that to be what we do. You never know what happens, you know. We're like we're trying to upgrade the roster in every single way every day, um, but 
as I sit here now. You mentioned wanting Sam to get better. A couple of things specifically that you'd like to see him work on over the next month. Uh, and when I say get, I want to make sure I say this really cleanly so I don't get, you know, it doesn't get sideways. Like, I, I mean that like with any player, right? Like, you know, Shaq's like the best at it. He's like, what, what do you see? And I'm like, well, I, I would work on this. So, you know, our coaches every night, Right up, hey, what did, what did you do well? What do you need to improve on? They, we grade everything. So I think the biggest thing for Sam is just to get really comfortable with the way that we uh, move in the pocket. You know, he comes from a different system where they were kind of stag, uh, static. And we, we're more of a you know, move up in the pocket, slide up in the pocket, throw on rhythm type of a team. So, you know, we really don't want him holding the ball and, you know, letting it rip. We want him to, you know, play in, play, play in progression, play in timing. And so um, that's new to him. And um, but you can see a, you can see a marked difference from the first day of phase two to now, from my in my perspective. Man, do you have an idea? Do you have an idea how y'all may use Jimmy the same way last year or the Um, sorry, I'll wait for this. Yeah. So every time I'm giving a team talk to the team, it feels like this always goes by. You know, um, we've always said to ourselves, you know, hey, you, you could use Chin, you know we use Chin as a safety and as a backer. You know, because he's not fully participating right now, we have him doing a little bit more at the safety position just so he can truly learn it. And then we know once we get to training camp, and it really kind of depends on how everyone else comes along, right? Like, how, how, you know, how does Sam Franklin, how, how do those guys develop? If we feel like they're starting safeties, then we can use Chin in a more hybrid role. If, if we feel like, you know what, he's just that good at safety, we'll keep him there. And I would anticipate us doing what we did last year with him, moving him around. I think to me, when you have a chess piece like that, you've got to you got to utilize his versatility. Not just with Chin, but how much more variable do you feel schematically on that side of the football than you were last year? Um, sorry, we should move this to the other end of the field next time. Um, well, I just think we know a lot more about what our players can do, and our players have a much better understanding of what we are. You know, I think we made some schematic changes last year after the second game on defense because it just wasn't fitting our personnel what we were asking them to do. Um, it's something that, that doesn't get, get exposed until a preseason game, sometimes in a game. So uh, I think having this time, uh, adding some guys like Hassan, adding the guys in the secondary, adding Denzel Perryman, um, adding the guys up front that we added, uh, gives us a little more flexibility. So I think we're just trying to grow, you know, get to, you know, we have a playbook this big and, you know, we're just trying to grow in terms of what our guys can master and also still play fast. Um, you know, it's just a matter of managing the roster. You know, we, ha, ha, you know, we, we did bring a guy in for rookie minicamp. He did a nice job, but um, you know, I, I think we're just going to, you know, as for, as for right now, proceed with Joey. And if he's doing, you know, continues to do as well as we think he's going to do, then great. And if not, we know that we can go out and get someone on the street. So it's just kind of a, kind of a just wait and see game. I just think Joey's done a great job of really. Um, of really growing as a kicker, uh, you know, from the mental performance mindset perspective, from the end of last year till now, he's taken that really seriously, and um, that to me is the key, right? Like, you know, if if you give me two swings at a golf ball, usually the second one I'll hit pretty good, um, but you don't get two swings in, 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 in when you kick a field goal, and so your mind has to be right. And I think he's working really hard. He's such a young player to make sure his mind is always right. After Cam, y'all moved on from Cam last year. Christian really never got a chance to take advantage of being kind of a face of the face a little bit. Pandemic, injuries, um, you see him out now doing so many things at golf tournament, he race track this week. What's it like for you to see him get more involved now? Do you consider him face? Yeah, you know, uh, well, first of all, for me, I don't, I don't, I don't even know about the, I don't know what he's doing. So I'm kind of in my own little world of like youth soccer and and playing golf with my son. Um, I think the biggest thing is, you know, Christian and I were talking the one day and he was saying, you know, how great the energy was. And I said, well, you know, there was so much turnover, you know, previously he was a younger player on the team. And then last year it's, it's a new coach. Anytime there's a new coach, no one knows what to expect. And then you add in the uh, events of last year, it was a, you know, unparalleled time in history, right? So now guys pretty much know what to expect. They, you know, they know like, you know, they, they know how we do things. So it's, it's a time where now Shaq and, Christian and Paradis and Moten and those guys, DJ, to me, they're 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 off and running, and uh, you know I, I hope Christian's you know um, really being a part of the community. You know I know how important it is to him. I know how 
you know, his 22 and you and 22 and troops and all the different things that he's doing charity wise are important to him. And I think that that's, um, that's a key, you know, when, when he signed the long term contract, I know he made a commitment to, hey, I'm going to not for us, but he just said, you know, I'm going to live here and I'm going to make this my home. And um, it's a great place to live. So, um, uh, but yeah, I don't get invited to many of those things you know, that he gets invited <laughs> to. So I don't know. Matt, the announcement yesterday about Walford, you, I don't think, have ever been up there. Uh, your thoughts about that, and have the Colts' practices been finalized? Yeah, so I, um, I, uh, I've only been to Walford when I was a coach at Western Carolina. We played there a couple times. But, um, you know, I, I was committed to going to, you know, Walford last year, or I think we were, you know. I mean, I, I don't know the details of it, but I was excited about that. And then it got taken away from us. And I would say the, the prevailing feeling on the team from the veterans is, you know, they didn't realize how much they wanted it, needed it, enjoyed it, enjoyed the time together until it was taken away from them last year. So I know we're excited to get down there. You know, um, I don't know what that'll look like in terms of policies and procedures. But for me, I, you know, like having fans being able to be at practice. And um, and I think the second question you asked me cool. was, oh, you, you know what? Um, we're still kind of working through all those things. Just just in terms of with the league, what's what's legal and what's not. Um, but Something um, you'd like to do. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, I think we're such a young team, you know, the youngest team in the league. Uh, as many full speed reps as we can get versus other teams that at the same time aren't necessarily live. You know, every rep that Sam, PJ, and Will gets where they're seeing a rush but where they're not getting tackled um, accelerates their growth. And so, um, it'll, you know, it makes it a little bit of a grind. But I think most players, you know, they like practicing against someone else. So hopefully we, hopefully we get that done. I know he was in a red jersey, but what have you seen from Brian Burns these last? Yeah, you know, Brian, um, you know, coming off of, you know, had, had a little something done to himself after the season. But, uh, you know, he's he's um, he, he's just working towards being one of the leaders of our team um, in terms of his work ethic, attention to detail. And I think one of the things that happens to a young player is they're, they, they have a lot of success. And to get, get to the next level of success, they have to add on to it, you know, and, and I think and my hope is, is that he's someone that's going to really add on to the details of playing his position add on to, you know, developing some extra moves, some power moves to go with his great speed. But, you know, it, you know, he, he showed up here this week. It's been great to see him. I mean, he's a guy that, you know, lights up the locker room. He's fun to be around. And so um, hopefully, you know, we'll have him healthy by training camp and, and he's doing whatever he can right now. Yeah, you know, back on that question, he looked a little different physique wise. Was that something that he went into the off season, you know, making a priority as far as body composition? Um, you know, we're always uh, encouraging him to get a little bit heavier, a little bit heavier. You know, you know, um, he's such a great, I mean, he's, he's such a great athlete that sometimes that can be, you know, hard. But, um, and I don't know exactly where his weight's at right now, but I know he's, he's worked hard to improve his strength dealing with the shoulder coming off, you know, coming off the season. So, um, you know, he's just a guy that every year hopefully he just does this, both in terms of his skill set and also just continue to get bigger. Was the shoulder what he got cleaned up? Yeah. Christian Miller opted out last year, and obviously he's back out here. Um, what do you, how's his conditioning, and then where do you see him fitting into the, into the defense of front seven? Yeah, I think his I think his conditioning is fine, and, and you know we're just really getting to know him. You know, I never coached him before, and um, you know I think in the NFL you turn over forty percent of your roster. To me, he's just like a new player coming in. So, you know, we're trying to evaluate all those guys as we see them, and this is a time to me of evaluation and development. You know. Um, Seeing, you know, seeing what guys do well, trying to work on their strengths, build on their strengths, work on their weaknesses. Um, but he's had good energy so far, so it's just a matter to us of, of um, you know, getting to training camp, seeing him with the pads on, and all those different things. I assume Coach. you were pretty excited yesterday to hear sellouts possible <laughs> this year and get to play in front of all the fans. And I'll be honest with you, they told me that as we were walking over here. So, <laughs> uh, but I, I, uh, I, uh, I really am excited about that. You know, I am. Um, you know, I always go back to the first game last year, you know, we play in the Raiders, we're down. We come back, we hit that deep ball to Robbie, we go up by four. The place should be just like rocking. It should be just so loud that the other team can't think and it's like a church, you know, and it goes down. So, um, you know, I haven't had that experience yet to walk into Bank of America. I walked into Bank of America Stadium as a Giants coach. I haven't had a chance to walk into Bank of America Stadium, you know, with the Panthers, you know, and, and have our fans behind us. And, you know, I, I get out and around, like I, you know, like I said, I go to soccer games, I go to different things. I, I see a lot of people that are fans, and I know everyone can't wait to get back. So um, I'm fired up to hear it. You know, I really am fired up to hear it. Has it started to feel different yet? You know, the fact that restrictions have been loosened, you all are not, don't have to wear masks? Um, I say the biggest thing is just being on the field, you know. Um, uh, you know, 
Mr. Tepper called me the other day and he was like, well, you sound like you're in a good mood. And I said, yeah, I said, I'm out there coaching again. Like, the, you know, at the end of the day, like, to me, being a coach is not having the job. It's actually getting out here and doing all this. And so uh, this is what I enjoy. This is what our coaches enjoy. And so last year was really, really, really hard. And, and, and this year doesn't mean there's not a grind ahead. Doesn't mean these aren't long days, hot days, you know, but but we have a chance to go out there and work with uh, work with our team. And so that's that's what we want to do. So that's the biggest thing that, you know, feels different. There a couple more. I don't. I think I answered all their questions. I think I wore them out. You have a question Jimmy for us? Chin. What's that? Jeremy Chin's injury. Um. Uh, uh, <laughs> they, they, uh, can you guys just ask Bruce afterwards? I just. I'm so hesitant with. I already gave him one thing. So, can you guys just ask Bruce afterwards? I just don't want to. Was he another guy that had to have a? Yeah, up? he had to have a cleanup after the season. So, yeah, nothing. Nothing severe. So. I'm sorry. I gotta get. I gotta get that figured out. How I'm gonna do that better. So. Just be able to tell us everything. Uh, That's the best. Yeah, and then they, I walk in. They don't. They won't talk to me. So. <laughs> when when you see guys at the end of practice still out here working, like the, I mean, they were behind you. Yeah. Now, now they're done. That's but, uh, staff. Yeah. Uh, but, but like seeing that extra that extra effort, that extra work ethic, that's something that you probably missed out on last year. How much of that plays into what you like about guys on the roster? Yeah, you know, and 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 it's kind of funny. The first day, like Will, PJ, those guys were out here throwing after, and we're like, oh, NFL PA rules, NFL rules. You know, the protocol. You know, two hours, we got to be done. But I just like the fact that there's guys that want to work. You know, uh, whether they're home working or they're here voluntarily working with us. Um, you know, I, I believe that you know the, the All Blacks say it best: the champions do extra. And so, you know, we want to be a team. We do extra, and the coaches do extra, the players do extra. So. You know, this is a job, but it's also your craft, and so you know you have to hone your craft by doing it over and over and over again. So, um, we're getting we're getting our mindset and our kind of our, our cultural thought process there, where guys are like, it's okay to make a ton of mistakes in practice as long as you stick around and fix them. If, if you don't make mistakes, then we really no there's no reason to practice, and so none of us are there yet. So, that that mindset I'm excited about. We have we have such a young team, but also when your leadership is like that, you know, I mean, Shaq's. Shaq's out here, you know, he's one of the first guys out here, you know, uh, you have veteran players that are that are committed like Paradis to doing things the right way. The young guys are just certainly going to follow. I know you don't want to alienate guys who aren't here, but what does it mean to you just from a Mayan standpoint that you have the kind of attendance you do at a mini camp of this nature that's voluntary? Well, I, yeah, I hope, I hope that it just means that they enjoy being around each other, you know, as much as anything. Like, you can train anywhere, but, you know, the, the biggest thing is I believe that you, you build teams through shared experiences, right? Like, uh, you build a team by being, you know, by being around each other, by doing things you like to do, by doing things you don't like to do together. And so, um, our staff, you know, our staff never really got to know each other till after the year. <laughs> you know, we did the Senior Bowl because, like, we were restricted. Like, we weren't allowed to have three or four of us go out to dinner. Um, so now is a great time to me where we can hopefully build some sort of unity amongst the staff, unity amongst the team, where everyone we know in the building's there for one purpose. So. Um, Again, I understand when guys aren't here, that's everyone has their own stuff to deal with, but but when guys are here, it's just it just makes it more fun, you know.